everybody. This is Russ Bucher from Control My Nikon, and welcome to the Using Live View Histograms tutorial video. Control My Nikon also has a histogram to let you see exactly what your exposure looks like. So if we go into the Live View menu, the Tools, and Histogram, it brings up the histogram window. And this is divided into the luminance histogram here on top in the white, and then the red, and the green and the blue channels. Now you can hide the red, green, and blue channels just by clicking on this little X here, and so you only get that one luminance channel. Or if you click on it again, it expands back down. The camera in use here is a D7000, and we're looking at a live view imagery at 24 frames a second. I'm just going to move the flower around a little bit here. There we go. So it's nice and fast. So it's coming at 24 frames a second. Every frame that is received from the camera is decoded and its histogram is displayed here. And we can see in this particular histogram there's a lot of darker exposures here on this hump. A lot of very basic mid-range exposures and really nothing that is blown out at all. There's a little white dot in the bottom right hand corner here, but that's really, uh, there's nothing being blown out on this particular image. Now when you look at a live view screen like this, it can be cropped. And right now it's running at a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and you could change it here. And, uh, but I'm going to change it right back to 4 to 3, because this is what your image is going to look like. So let's take a shot and see what we get. So I'm just going to bring up the image viewer, and this is the last image we shot. Let's take up another shot here. And what we see here on the image viewer is what we had here on the preview. You can see the basic shape of the histograms are the same. On the image viewer it looks a little bit smoother because there's more pixel to deal with here. This is the full resolution image whereas the live view is only a 640 by 480 image that we are doing the analysis on for the histogram. So the live view histogram will always look a little rougher, a little bit more pixelated. Now there's some interesting things you can do with your histogram. The first one is you can ask it, what is this little peak here? And all you need to do is left click in the histogram area and drag your mouse. So if you wanted to know what is this, it shows up in the highlight color, which is currently green. And you could change that. Just go to selection color. Maybe I wanted it to turn up as uh, blue instead. So now when I select, it shows me exactly what that peak is. And you could do that on each one of these histograms. So if on the red histogram you wanted to know what is this peak, well, that would be this area. If you want to know the peak of this green, it's right here. And maybe you just wanted to know what's in this little flat area here. And that's very difficult to see because there's very little of it. This is called histogram tracking. Now there's also reverse histogram tracking. All you need to do is go to your live view image and left click and drag your mouse. So if I wanted to know where this dark area here in the center of the flower is on the histogram, I just left click and it turns into little crosshairs. And now you can see some vertical bars on the histogram. Those vertical bars show you where the pixel that is currently underneath the crosshairs is on the histogram. So a darker area here would appear further to the left, and that makes sense. It's, it's way left. And if I go to a brighter area, say way up here, should show brighter. And there's even a blue area up here. So you can see as we go into the blue, it increased the indicator's position on the blue histogram. There's two ways then that you can dig into your histogram. You can drag within the histogram and you can click and drag within the picture itself. And this is just an easy way to help you poke around your image and try to understand where the different parts of histogram are coming from. And, you know, it could be that you have a high key image where you purposely wanted to blow out part of the image, maybe on a white background, and the, the histogram here will help you understand exactly which parts you blew out. 
Now the histogram here you notice moves quite a bit. It's just, uh, it almost vibrates. And there's a button here to help reduce that. Right now uh, that is actually on. I'm going to turn it off. You see how it jumps around a little bit? It's almost like uh, it's flickering. And this is actually what the data is like coming back from the camera. So, so there's not much you can do about that. But if that flickering bothers you, just click on this button here. And that's going to average a histogram over the past five uh, live view images to smooth it out. And you'll see that the histogram here follows whatever you do in the composition. So if I move this flower a little bit, you can see how the histogram changes. Also, as you track your mouse over the image by holding your left mouse button and dragging, the luminance red, green, and blue values are shown just underneath the luminance diagram. So here's a very dark area. It's very important to set up your camera body to be able to use the live view histogram. And some bodies really don't support it properly at all. For example, in the D7000, there's a setting on the camera body that is for movie mode and you turn it to manual. And that will allow you to have a live view histogram. If you don't turn it to manual, then the exposure will be continually adjusted by the camera and you'll never get a true histogram when you look at it in live view. So you just need to ensure that you set that up properly on the camera. The same with the D5100. So to ensure you get a correct histogram, if your camera has a movie mode, make sure you turn it to manual and also set your camera to manual mode. And that's it. That's how you use a live view histogram. Happy tethering.